Hi, I'm Don Stegall. I made a series of videos on shooting quickie wings and they've gotten quite a few views. Uh, the most common question I've gotten is about the porous release film that I use. If you haven't seen the other videos, check out parts one through three and um, some of the questions will be answered. Um, what I'm going to do is show you the wing after it's already cured and how easy it is to get it out using the porous release film. I use paper towels on the wing all the way around it for a couple of reasons. Um, I get very good uh, vacuum and it also protects the vacuum bag from these pins that I insert to hold things in place while I'm putting it together and putting it in the bag. <clears throat> You can see the porous release film sticking out. Um, unfortunately on this one I didn't have as much on the leading edge as I needed and uh, my breather stuck to it. And that's the whole purpose of this porous release film. It makes um, getting the wing out of the shucks easy because some epoxy can come through the wood and stick to the shucks. So I use a pair of um, square nose pliers and pull the pins out. And you can see it's already hot loose. So I'm going to take out the pins on the other side. and the shuck just comes right off of it. And the same is true for the other side. So now the wing's covered in the forest release film. No sticking to the shucks. And the forest release film that I use now, I got from ACT. CST used to have a very nice pink porous release film, and that's what I showed in my earlier videos. But they have some new stuff now, and it's blue, and I have not had good results with it. Um, it seems to stick. Now, down at the end there, I have carbon fiber and it always gets stuck there. So I'm going to go ahead and get the force release film off of this side and just kind of work it until you get it free. It generally releases pretty easily. Sometimes you tear it, sometimes you have to uh, use new film but I actually wind up reusing the film in a lot of cases because nothing really sticks to this film and
it just gets caught up where the, in this case, where I have the carbon fiber leading edge tends to be extra epoxy in that area and uh, it gets caught up in crevices and if you just work it carefully you generally can get it free without tearing it so you can reuse the force release film. So there's the wing out of the shucks and with the porous release film. This is a NACA 66012. It has a carbon fiber leading edge. And on the back I use 64th inch plywood, although some customers have been requesting that I use carbon fiber on the trailing edge. Uh, but if you look at the wing, you can actually see some shiny spots. And that's where the glue actually gets sucked through the um, porous release film. And if you didn't have the porous release film, it would stick to your shucks and you'd have to sand it off. So all I have to do now is mark a line on the leading edge and trim it and mark a line on the trailing edge and trim it. And then what I do is I use a piece of uh, cardboard, uh, thin folder uh, cardboard and mark a line approximately where the foam is so I can trim the ends. And these wings come out nice and straight because of the techniques I'm using. And I let them cure for 36 to 48 hours under the vacuum. This one's actually been under for several days. Um, but these wings are strong and hope that answers some questions about the porous release film. You can get the stuff that I'm using now from ACP. It's 60 inches wide, so it's plenty long for 52 inch uh, or 50 well, 48 to 52 inch um, quickie wing. And I'm going to be making another video in the quickie series where I use Scott Smith's technique for uh, foam tips that are covered in balsa, uh, partially during the layup process. And I'll be making that video reasonably soon. I've got some more wings I've got to make before I can make that video. But there's more coming in the uh, Quickie Wing series. Uh, thanks to all of you who've responded positively to the other um, videos. And it's uh, gratifying to know that I've helped some people um, with... Uh, seeing how I do it, which may or may not be the right way, but um, I haven't had any complaints about the wings and don't know of any breaking, so I'm actually surviving mid-airs with these carbon fiber leading edges. So stay tuned for even more quickie wing videos and more scratch building videos. I'm going to make a video on building a straight quickie fuselage using MDF, medium density fiberboard, and quarter inch dowels to hold the fuselage in place while you're putting it together. So keep an eye out for those videos. There's a link to RC Pro in the video, and there's a link to my RC calculators and drill bit charts, Android applications. They're coming to iPhone and iPad sometime in 2014 and they'll be getting even more features. A lot of people like the uh, pitch speed calculator for pylon racing because you can estimate the speed you're going to get out of the plane. And till next time, happy landings.